find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region bounded by the curves y equals root x y equals 2 and x equals 0 about the x axis the first thing we want to do is graph these three curves okay so this is vertical axis y and as a horizontal axis x y equals root x this is origin y equals root x uh, y equals 2 so uh, 1 2 okay so y equals 2 <coughs> this is y equals 2 and x equals 0 <coughs> x equals 0 is same as y axis y axis is y equals 0 so the reason we are looking is this and by the way this is always 2 so square root of what number square root of what is 2 that's 4 right square root of 4 is 2 so this point of intersection is in fact 4 <coughs> now we want to revolve this region shaded region about the x-axis so we want to revolve about the x-axis okay and we're gonna use we are using shell method here shell method so when we draw the sample rectangle of small thickness that should be parallel for shell method we take parallel so let's draw is a parallel okay and let's say the small thickness is any point generic point that's x y and y is given by root x that's the generic point on the curve and now it has a small thickness on y axis so delta y okay that suggests delta y suggests when we find the volume the volume will be evaluated in terms of y dy and we need the area and look at this small rectangle this can be taken anywhere from 0 to 2 so it will be 0 to 2 and since we are evaluating the definite integral in terms of y this curve should be written in terms of a function of y so x equals a function of y so how this is y equals root x so if we square both sides we get x equals uh, y square okay so I don't need this anymore and I have to write this in terms of y as well so x is y square so this will be y square and is square root of y square just y so y square y so this point is also y square y and now let's look at this small rectangle when we revolve about the x-axis we're gonna get let me use a different color okay then we're gonna get this uh, the shell okay just the skin of a cylinder so we'll have this cylinder and here's the x here's the y now we want to find the area surface area of the cylinder which is a y so the surface area is given by surface area of the shell this is the hollow cylinder surface area is the formula is 2 pi r h okay so 2 pi radius height radius this is the radius or this length is the radius now we know this height this this point here this is y square y this is y square y that means this height this height is y and this length is y square okay this the coordinates of this point is y square y means this is y square this is y so this is the height height is y square and the radius is y so 2 pi radius y times height height is here that's y square this is y uh, let's simplify this is 2 pi y and y square y to the third okay 1 and 2 3 now we're gonna find this definite integral to find the volume of this solid of revolution thus v equals 
0 to 2 2 pi y cubed dy now 2 pi constant can be pulled outside and anti derivative of y cubed is y fourth over 4 and we want to go from 0 to 2 now 2 pi is outside and 4 we can pull outside 2 pi over 4 which is pi over 2 inside 4 is out right? 2 raised to 4 16 minus 0 raised to 4 0 so pi over 2 times 16 to divide 16 8 so 8 pi so 8 pi cubic units is the final